Hello everyone, this is Puka, bringing you another game I played on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. This time around, I'm going to be using my good old Kling Clang deck. Now with some updated new fancy stuff from Boundaries Crossed. So we'll see if this deck can make a resurgence now that there are some new tools to work with. So I'm going to start off with this Registeel EX. My opponent's going to start off with a Duskull level balls for the Trap Inch. So I know right off the bat, this is a Dusk Nor Flygon deck. And uh, I know what I'm dealing with, basically. And I'm not too worried about it, actually, you know. This is a deck that's kind of limited by what your opponent does. Um, a lot of people started using this deck right away. It's an obvious combo with Flygon's Sand Slammer. And then you have Dust Nord to just rearrange the damage everywhere. And you can do a ton of damage at once. But it can really be contained by, well how many Pokemon I put down. You know, if I only have two Pokemon in play, then he's only going to be able to do 20 in between every turn with Sand Slammer. So, uh, I feel like this is a strategy that people are going to like at first, and then they'll probably realize this isn't the greatest deck idea ever. Um, Dustnor just seems like a card with a lot of potential, but I don't think Flygon is the best partner for him. So my opponent catches out my uh, clink and then we have a turn to a flygon so that's pretty annoying but that's okay uh, I'm just gonna computer search here for a clink clang so I can rare candy into that uh, computer search is such a nice card to have in your deck uh, it just is so versatile allows you to set up much smoother just being able to search for any card is ridiculous so uh, I grab a clink clang there and oh I don't get any energy that's kind of what I was hoping for there um, that's why I used that Bianca. So a bit of a rough start for me. I did get the Kling Clang out, but uh, I would trade the Kling Clang for an energy attachment any day of the week. That is for sure. Now here, um, I don't know, I got some decisions to make. I'm definitely playing the Juniper this turn. I'm going to catch up the Duskull, because then he cannot use Sand Slammer in between turns. That's pretty important. Uh, and then... Going to communication for something. I don't really want to bench anything right now. Well, maybe I do. Uh, I'm going to grab the Keldeo just because I can rush in. And uh, we're going to bench that. I was thinking, you know, might not want to bench something immediately, but might as well use that communication to get the Keldeo while I can. Um, then I can rush in. And now this is what makes the difference with Kling Clang now. So in, in the past, once Rainbow Energy rotated out, uh, we had no way to have Kling Clang move an energy and still be able to get free retreat with it. Now, Rainbow in the past would provide both Dark and Metal, so you could move it around with Shift Gear, and it would give you free retreat with Dark Rise, Dark Cloak. That was the strength of the Kling Clang deck. You could just shift between attackers, um, you'd have free retreat and everything, you would be golden. But when you lost the Rainbow energy, you lost your way to retreat your Kling Clang because Prism doesn't work on the evolutions. So now we have Keldeo, who we can rush in and give us that same flexibility we had before. So pretty much this deck is back to where it was before. Um, it's just, can it keep up with these other decks now that it has, well, I mean it never had energy acceleration, but can it keep up with these decks that have uh, ridiculous energy acceleration like Blastoise and stuff like that? Uh, and that is going to be the question we have to find out here. So, uh, my opponent does top deck a supporter, it seems like, and then just retreats to Flygon. We got another Sand Slammer going, and uh, we'll go from here. Now, I could play a Metal and just accept the fact that I'm going to be doing 90 with um, Secret Sword, but I'm going to go for it. The other very, very nice thing is that Metal also provides water with that Blend Energy, so I got another one. I was pretty fortunate to draw that. I took a, a pretty big risk there. And uh, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to Heavy Ball first, just to thin out my deck a little bit. We'll just grab probably a Worthless Pokemon, um, maybe a, a Kling Clang or something like that. I do play one of the bad Kling Clangs to use Charge Beam against the uh, Hammer Time decks. Not sure how effective it actually is, but I keep it there just in case. So I'm just going to thin out my deck by a card, because there's nothing I really need to Heavy Ball for anymore. Uh, I Secret Sword for 110. Now this is going to set up a lot of different plays. The first one is going to be um, a, a Darkrai Night Spear. 
Now this will let me catch her out something else like a Trap Inch or a Duskull and then Night Spear to hit the active and then knock out the Fly God on the bench. The only thing I can do, uh, attack with Registeel to Triple Laser. So what I can do is catch up the Duskull, Triple Laser all the benched Pokemon, and then I won't take damage from Sand Slammer because Fly God won't be active anymore. That seems like a good play to me. Uh, I'll probably end up doing that. I'm not sure which one I take if I am opposed with Night Spear or um, Triple Laser. I only have one Prism, so uh, it's not going to be an option quite yet, but that's okay. So I'm going to use my Max Potion for sure. Um, the interesting thing about this is that you really just want to remove uh, what has the most damage on it. For example, Registeel has 60 on it, so I want to Max Potion that. Um, you cannot think of damage as being spread out against a Dusknor deck. You have to think of it as, this is the total amount of damage I have on my board. And if I can be knocked out at any point, I need to be aware of that. So I'm going to catch out this Duskull here. Seems like the right thing to do. If I just get an energy, I can just retreat and triple laser. Or I can just draw the Darkrai. And then free retreat. So that'll be nice. But, you know, uh, missing another energy drop here. It's kind of painful. You cannot afford to miss energy drops with this deck. That is the number one thing. Because it has no energy acceleration. So you need to make sure... You put an energy down every turn if you can, and I missed two this game, so that's going to be brutal. But I still think I'm okay. You know, the max potions really helped me out in this matchup, just taking damage off my board. Uh, we got a nice play here. Uh, I get to triple laser all three of those, uh, well, two Flygons and then the Trap Inch. Basically, I just want to knock out his Flygons, because if he loses those, it's game over. And I've set those up to be knocked out with Secret Sword from Keldeo, just doing 110 damage, that's going to knock them out. And from here I should be just fine. Uh, I don't envision any real problems. As long as I keep getting energy down, I should be fine. I should be able to just knock out Flygons over and over, and win the game. Uh, at some point I might get knocked out just by damage adding up if he gets a Dusknoir out. But, uh, that's not too big of a concern for me, if I can just get some more energy down. I really don't see him knocking out two EXs this game. I did have to bench that fourth Pokemon so that Sand Slammer does 40 now every turn, but I'm not too concerned about it. Um, yeah, I think I'll be fine. So I get a Prism. Um, definitely going to put that down on Darkrai just to give me some options here. And then I could end, but he had to Skyla for a rare candy and just got a dust more last turn, so I don't want to give him a fresh hand of six. I don't think. Uh, I could max potion. Uh, that might actually be a good idea, but I, I could also wait, because right now it doesn't really matter that much. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not enough on my field to have him knock me out, so I'm not too concerned about it. There's, let's see, there's a hundred damage on my field right now. There's no way he can move it all to Keldeo and knock me out, so I'll just wait for a better time, and then we will Secret Sword for 110 damage. It's the perfect 30 plus 110, knocking out that Flygon. And uh, we're looking pretty good at this point. I can't complain. My opponent does get uh, a Fighting and a Double Cutlass on the Vibrava there, so if he gets a Flygon and then a Celebi EX, he could, I suppose, um, use... Um, I forgot what it's called, Sand Pulse maybe? Just 50 and 10 across to your bench. Uh, which will spread a significant amount of damage to my Pokemon. So he's gonna Sand Pulse. Uh, and then Sand Slammer. <laughs> and okay, now I gotta do some math. We see, alright. I have, um, let's see. 60, uh, 80. 140. Yeah, there's definitely enough to knock out this Keldeo. Uh, there's enough to knock out anything. So, he can just move the damage wherever he wants. I just need to make sure I knock out Flygon. Uh, next turn, I'm hoping to get an energy. I could end here and try to get a max potion, but again, I don't want to give him a fresh hand of stuff. Just seems like the, the wrong thing to do. And I'm not in too much trouble if I don't have a max potion. Really, all I need is an energy. And then I can... Well, there's another Keldeo. Uh, I just need an energy and then I can either Night Spear or 
uh, triple laser if I want to. Doesn't really matter. Just need one more energy and I should be all dandy, all good to go. But I will lose three energy this turn. This is a big deal. This could end up biting me. Uh, I don't know if I'll be end or not. That could be a concern. We'll see. There's all sorts of stuff that can happen. Uh, of course, if I get end and I don't draw an energy, then I could potentially miss some attacks here, and that could open the door for my opponent to come back. At this point, I have taken three prizes, and then they, they have all been Flygons, believe it or not. So my opponent's got to be running low on, you know, just resources at this point. He, he's gone through a ton of stuff. I've knocked out three of his main... Well, it's not really an attacker, but the main focus of his deck is Flygon, and I've knocked three of those out already. So he's got to be running out of stuff. But he's going to knock out the Keldeo. I'm just going to promote the Registeel since it has a Prism on it. Or since it has an Eevee Light on it. Uh, and it has a Prism. I mean, it gets free retreat anyway. The only thing I don't want to promote there is Kling Clang. Since I cannot retreat it freely. I would have to drop Keldeo to do that. Uh, but he does play an N. And I draw Darkrai, Mewtwo, and N. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I do need an energy, though. So, um... I think this turn... I don't know what to do, honestly. He doesn't seem to have very much. Uh, I could just put down Mewtwo to give myself a two-energy attacking option, just in case. So looks like that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and, and I'm hoping to draw an energy, but no, I actually don't. So I have a, um, a somewhat weird decision. I could, you know, just retreat an X-Ball for 40, setting up like a Night Spear knockout, and then it's just, you know, pretty much one more catcher wins the game. I can do that. The only problem is I know he plays double colorless, so if he has Mewtwo, Switch, double colorless, he could actually knock out my Mewtwo, and then I would end up losing, but that just seems pretty unlikely with that four card hand there. Uh, so I decided to take the risk, set up the play for next turn, and I should end up coming out on top. Even if he gets a Mewtwo out, I'm not too concerned. Could I could just end up winning still. But who knows? I mean, if he has it, then uh, I would be in a ton of trouble. He can move 10 over with Dustnor's Sinister Hand and then X-Ball. But, oh, he says the last flag on his prize, and GG! So Kling Clang has a strong showing, and... Uh, we win um, a weird game. I don't know, my opponent got pretty much everything set up and I still ended up winning. So thanks for watching, guys. Maybe Kling Clang has some life still. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.